Good morning everyone and welcome to a new vlog. We are here at, of course, the Water Kingdom Siam Park. Uh, we've come with the family today. Uh, now I visited here quite a few months ago when it first reopened after the lockdown. Uh, there was quite a few restrictions on. I believe they're still in place, but we're gonna go in today, take a look around, see if anything has changed. Do we still have to wear a mask uh, on the rides, inside, etc. Gonna go through absolutely everything. We've also brought my dad aka Mick Garvey and uh, I think we're gonna get some fun slide POVs uh, with dad he's a little bit hungover today after a few uh, too many one euro pints so uh, we'll get him on some of the slides as well uh, we've also brought uh, my little nephew today so uh, it'll give you an idea if you do have a little baby uh, what you can do in the park um, as a family there is various kids sections and things but uh, we're just going to go in, have an absolute blast, I think, but bring you guys along with us. Uh, I have bought the tickets online. Uh, most of us do get a resident discount, so we actually get it for half price. Uh, you can just select those tickets online if you are a resident uh, and bring your resident ID card. If you're not a resident, again, you just buy the tickets online. Uh, they're the same price absolutely everywhere. Uh, you pay online very quickly. Uh, they send you the tickets straight away and you've got them there on your phone. Scan in and uh, much much quicker and easier I'm going to show you there's two queues if you've got tickets and if you haven't got tickets so if you've already got them it does make a little bit of a difference in terms of getting in quicker so when you get to Cyan Park there is two queues you've got the queue to pay and buy tickets and then there's the queue here on the right uh, which the family are already waiting in which are for pre-bought tickets this looks along the line for pre-bought, but it moves much faster than if you've got to pay at the gate and wait. As I said, it's the same price, so it makes much more sense just to get it online. You pick your day, pay, and it's much more quicker and efficient. You can see the line is all distanced as well. Uh, so that's one thing to note, really. Getting your tickets online will get you into the park quicker. As you can see as well, the gates aren't even open yet. We have come at about 20 to 10. The park opens at 10. That's another recommendation of mine, get here for when it opens. You will get a lot more done. No matter the time of year, make sure you come um, early, get in when the park opens. You'll get your choice of sunbeds, uh, you'll get your choice of lockers, and you'll get a lot of rides done without lines at all. Uh, you can see Dad is looking very nervous over there. We're going to go and have a chat with him in a second. He's, uh, he's looking a little bit uh, stressed. You see, very organised as well. The lady does organise a few very efficiently and uh, sorts everything out. Looks like we're going to go across to the other side now. He looks, uh, he looks very nervous. <laughs> now, we did park in the street to the side of Siam Mall. We, uh, Siam Mall and Siam Park, we came early enough. But if you do need to park, it's just four euros. They've got parking down here, uh, but they do fill up the one on the other side first. Uh, so yeah, if you want to park, four euros for the day, you put it in here. Or if you do get early enough, you can park in the road between uh, Siam Mall and Siam Park. Uh, I do know a lot of people park in Siam Mall and walk across. Whether you should do that or not, that is uh, that is your personal choice. Uh, but they do have parking here uh, for four euros if you need it. Okay, so the family are here. You're looking a little bit stressed there, Dad. Sixty-three. Tower of Power sorted. You'll be you'll be awake in a minute. Don't worry, Mum. Excited for a chill day on the beach. Oh, 62. Sorry, I've been changed this morning. You love the lazy river as well. Nice, Sarah. Chill day. We've got little Jude here as well. Scott. <laughs> Scott's fully loaded there, but we'll you'll get on some slides, won't you? Laura, in the new match as well, looking good, looking good, <laughs> excited, yeah, no we haven't been in a little while so we will uh, catch up with you when we're uh, in and we're uh, open and sorted. Next big tip of course, make sure you clean up, bring plenty with you, factor 50, waterproof if possible, this isn't the best place to win, but it's, uh, it's very high protection, 50 plus, Scott's got his 50 plus as well. Nivea, extra water resistant. That's much better. I think I'll be using that on my body. But yeah, make sure you bring plenty of cream. And if you want, the finger bash vest to uh, stop you burning as well. So I've got my tickets on the phone, ready to go. The lady will just scan them, and then we're straight on in. Uh, there's a little picture opportunity just a bit further up. 
Um, you can skip it by, we normally just say we're residents and they just sort of let us go through. You can skip it if you ask them, but there is a bit of a picture opportunity that they sort of force you into taking, try and sell you the picture afterwards. But uh, if you do say, I just want to skip it and go through, um, normally they do let you through. So we did just say to the guy, we're residents, we don't want the picture, we've done it a million times. He was a bit reluctant, but they've let us go through. We were never gonna buy the picture anyway. Uh, picture in front of the elephant there. So we've managed to sort of do this little cut around and you just get to skip the uh, the picture opportunity there. Um, it just saves a bit of time, lets you crack on. I don't like any of that personally. Uh, but we're in, can't wait. Gorgeous sunny day, a little bit of a breeze, but we're gonna head straight to the Wave Pool Beach. Uh, I always recommend going straight to the Wave Pool Beach, getting your sunbeds that you want and then there's lockers right behind the beach. Uh, skip the first set of lockers that are in the middle of the park. They're the ones that everyone goes to first. Go past them, get right onto the wave pool beach. Lockers there, sunbeds. Uh, you're in a great spot for your lunch as well, the food court right behind it. It's just the best location for me. And everyone who watched my first original vlog, it's had 70,000 views now. They all agree, anyone who's taken my advice agreed with that wave pool beach easier lockers get yourself there get yourself set up and then uh, off we go so yes skip these lockers is my advice carry on through and get yourself to the wave pool beach area for those lockers instead and um, there is two different sizes of locker i will run through the prices of those in a moment as well you do have to pay a little bit of a deposit uh, sad news is today we've just discovered that the uh, Lazy River is closed. It looks like they're doing some maintenance on it today. That's a shame, because that's what Sarah and Mum were going to be going on. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing, that. So bear that in mind. I'm filming this here in uh, beginning of February, and the Lazy River here is closed. So uh, do bear that in mind at the moment. Something they didn't realise, they didn't really post it on the site when we bought the tickets either, so bear that in mind. This is the big thing with getting here early and coming straight to the wave pool beach. Look at the choice you've got of the sunbeds. The umbrellas are just on the floor. You can obviously put them up. Uh, they're not being up yet. And we're thinking this section here might be a little bit more shady uh, for the baby, but you've got a whole choice, whatever you want. Front row, up the side, just makes a big difference getting here that little bit earlier. And then here are the lockers that you can use, but it looks like they might be closed today as well. We're not having much luck here today. I think they might be closed. I think just because it's so quiet, the air lockers closed temporarily. So looks like we will have to go back like to the... Um, so looks like we're going to have to go back to the ones that I said to skip. Not used to being here at quiet time. So this is why we come back and we refilm because things have changed. Um, it is quiet a season for the water park and there the lockers there closed here on the beach obviously they don't want to have loads of lockers open if they don't need to so they're plainly just keeping the ones in the middle of the park open and um, some beds here uh, are all completely free uh, the you'll notice that the umbrellas are on the floor that is due to a little bit of wind today uh, it's just recommended us to come over to this section here uh, for the shade for the baby they're hoping the wind will drop and then they can put the umbrellas up uh, but it is a little bit less windy on this side as well i would say other than that the park is pristine. I'm very excited to be here. A little bit of a day off work. Um, everyone's just preparing, getting their sun cream on, etc. Big shame about the Lazy River because my sister and my mum can't really do many other rides at the moment. Um, so that's a little bit of a shame. And it wasn't really, you know, bold on the website. Please be warned, the Lazy River is closed. But we're not going to let that ruin the day. We've got a gorgeous wave pool here. And we're going to do some slides as well. But uh, yeah, show you around the rest of the park, see if anything else has changed. But as you can see, when it's quieter season, they do close a few things, change a few things around, and there is always a chance that they will be doing maintenance on some of your favourite rides. Uh, I don't know whether, I'll have another look at the website, see if I can find anywhere where it mentions that. If you do have a favourite ride, just bear in mind, quieter season, the winter here in Tenerife, they might be closed, doing a little bit of maintenance on them. But from what I understand, all the other rides are open. It's just the Lazy River at the moment. But uh, look at this view.
Okay, so here's mum and dad. You're happy there, chilling? Nice, a nice little breeze. I knew you'd like it with the. Nice. Yeah, they, they do have music on, but it's not full on. It's normally 80s and 90s stuff. It's, uh, it's normally pretty good stuff. Bit of Bob Marley, etc. Mm, nice. And uh, Dad, you're looking a bit too relaxed there. In uh, you've got your ETA is about uh, three minutes before slide time. You're joking. No. Well, you're gonna be. You'll be awake after this. Trust me. Yeah, oh, no. you will be. Get yourself creamed up. Get yourself ready in action mode. Lounging. Yeah. Well, there's no chilling. <laughs> we did go to the rooftop bar last night on the GF Victoria Hotel, and Dad had a cocktail. He wasn't fussed on. Called a Mexican itch. Yeah, I'll put the link to that live in the description if you want to watch it. It was a lovely rooftop bar. It's cocktail, but he didn't uh, didn't like it. <laughs> come on, action! Come on, you heard the song. Bit of action. <laughs> Are we good to go? Yeah, come on. Okay, Laura, feeling good? Feeling ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, ready. Nervous? No, never Is it going to wake you up? I haven't had a coffee yet. I think this will wake me up instead. It's going to wake me up. You can see, as you can see, it's starting to fill up now. Your choice of sunbeds is starting to, you know, dwindle down. This was the, the key point to getting here a little bit earlier. You get your choice of whatever you want. But it is going to be slide time. I'm going to get my water shoes on. Another high recommendation of mine. Bring some water shoes if you can. Yeah, if you don't want to buy them, you, yeah, you could, as Laura said, you could wear socks. Might be a good option. But uh, yeah, you can. These floors are a little bit rough, and after after an hour or so of running around, your feet do get sore. So if you've got water shoes or you want to buy some cheaper outside the park, note, um, then uh, definitely bring some is my recommendation for that as well. So we have switched to the GoPro now. We are going to go and do a few slides. Mum and uh, Laura and the baby chilling on the wave pool beach. And uh, Dad's coming with us. Just let him catch up. You do have to still wear your mask and you've got to wear a mask on the rides as well. Bring plenty with you. I know it's a bit crazy, the rules, but that's it. If you don't, you can't come in. Here he is here. We're going to start you off with just something a little bit gentle. No, we are. Honestly, we're going to start off with like a, it's like a rapid one. It's called Dragon and it's just like a... It's called Dragon and it's gentle. Yeah. It's oh, the, yeah. No, it's the Dragon Rapids. You're thinking of Volcanoes, the big one that we we'll do, might do afterwards if you're in the mood. Dragon's just nice and soft and easy. And uh, it'll just break you in. Break me in. Yeah. Break me in. <laughs> Breaking dad. Breaking dad. That's bad. I've got a new hip, you know. <laughs> it's only soft dragon, isn't it, Laura? Yeah, for your baby ride, it's fine. A baby ride, okay. Would you say it was a baby ride, Scott? Think of like you're having a nap on a comfy bed. Floating on a water bed, that's it. That's all. You're in a ring of four, nice and soft. You've got the uh, kids' area here if you do have uh, some little toddlers and smaller kids. Great big area for them. And uh, let's, uh, let's get him woken up. He looks a bit too in a daze at the moment. <laughs> Morning. So, uh, this is another thing just to note, obviously with quiet time, some of the rides they do put a timetable on, so you can see the dragon here is only open half one till five, so I presume they'll have Volcano running the first half, and then dragon the second half, this is what they'll do, just to maximise use of staff etc, so just bear that in mind as well, we were worried it was closed, but it is just on a schedule, come on in, come on. <laughs> Up we go, let's uh, start off with Volcano. Gaz, Incredible Wilsons, if you're watching, one of your favourites, you and Seb. Come on. You're looking a bit nervous there. Very nervous, don't know what you've got me on here. <laughs> you're looking very nervous. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Come on. Rocky Balboa up the steps. Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 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 Whoa!
just enjoyed a great ride on the Volcano. When Dad got up there, he wasn't comfortable in the ring. So he uh, decided to come off and walk down. We're going to see if there's any others that he might want to do. He struggled flexibility-wise getting in the ring. So we're going to see if there's anything different uh, that he wants to do. Otherwise, he'll go back and chill. So a little bit of assessment. We're going to go to the, the rapids now. Because you actually sit in the ring and not on the ring. Your dad's worried about sliding off the out of a sit-on ring. Yeah. Hey, but not a great little first ride that wake you up, Laura. Yeah. Cold water. Freezing. Freezing. Yeah. And one one thing to note, it doesn't look like many people are wearing masks at all. Uh, even on the rides, not many people wearing them. So uh, something to keep in mind. But uh, we're going to go up to the uh, rapids now. Have a little go on them. And then see what happens. So, Scott is going to run up and do uh, Tower of Power. Oh, yeah. And uh, we'll uh, catch him coming down the other side. You don't fancy this one then, Dad? Hey, no, no rings on this one? No, no, no. <laughs> just goes oh, no. straight down. It's uh, very quiet, so it'll be a straight walk on. <laughs> He's freezing now as well. Water pass. <laughs> Let Scott come down this. All oh, legs are open, Scott. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Enjoy that. Are you awake now? Do you see any sharks? Oh, no. My eyelids were like. That is a big one. That. So we're doing the Patong Rapids now with Dad. The theory is that you actually sit inside these rings, not on them. Then Dad will be going back for a little nap on the uh, wave pool beach, I think. And uh, us kids will carry on riding. <laughs> you alright there? No. <laughs> I think he'll be fine on this one. It's not a huge, huge ride anyway. Uh, do bear in mind as well, even if you're young and fit, Laura goes to the gym. It's a lot of walking, a lot of steps. So do take breaks, plenty of water. There's a lot of steps involved, a lot of walking around. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> the weight restriction this one, you gotta be this slim to fit on it. <laughs> you gotta be this slim, go on. Go on. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna enjoy it. this. You made it. I swear I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> This will be Dad's one slide of the day, I think. So you best Dad enjoy it. <laughs> Calm down, he'll hold it for you. Just wait. Oh my. <laughs> You're in now, there you are. Right, see you later. Bye. Get in now. <laughs> right, I'll go opposite you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, me. Face and legs side by side. Side by side. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. 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 <laughs> we shouldn't have four in this. <laughs> it's fine. Oh no, I'm backwards. <laughs> yeah. You are. Oh, 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 oh. It's freezing. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. You don't want to come out of this. You don't want to oh, come out of it! Stop the Oh, my God. 
What do you think then? Do you want to do it again? Oh, no. no? I hope you didn't go backwards. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm broke. Did you enjoy it backwards? No. <laughs> it was deliberate. You knew that was going to be is horrendous. You <laughs> said it was a gentle little... It was a little... Wait, wait, wait. There was a little space on that ride. <laughs> I hope that my legs were in it at any point. <laughs> oh, funny. Funny. Okay, so we have just come back to drop Dad off and these lockers are now open on the beach. So I think it's more of a thing of how busy the day is. If they can see it's gonna be a busier day. It's lovely and sunny out here today. Maybe they do open the second lockers. It just depends on demand. They were closed earlier. Didn't say they were gonna open later. So I think once, you know, the queue gets a bit big at the other one and they know it's gonna be a busy day, they decide to open them. So yeah, a few things going on that are confusing me a little bit because I'm not used to coming at quiet time. I'm not used to having the some of the rides opening at half one. And I'm sort of used to those lockers guaranteed being open. But they're open again now. Things constantly changing. But uh, yeah, back open. We're going to drop mum, uh, drop dad off. Say hello to the others and then maybe do a few more slides. Okay, so we've come out to the races. I'm going to let Laura and Scott go down. Big question is, who's going to win? I've got, this, I've got the rash best for streamliners. <laughs> now the rule is, it's whoever hits the bottom of the hill first. Not whoever gets furthest, whoever hits the hill, the bottom of the hill first. So guys, in the comments, who's going to win, Laura or Scott? We are about to find out. I think Sea Biscuit will win. Sea Biscuit, Laura, what's yours? Blue racer. Right. Okay. Away you go. So while they go and do that and uh, get in the queue, I'm going to film them coming down in a second. Just to mention, it is getting very busy now uh, compared to when we first came in. I wouldn't say it was mental busy, but much much busier than when we first got here. The first hour was very very quiet. Right now, a lot busier. So definitely come in, get that first hour in. You get loads of rides done with no queues and uh, get your spot on the beach etc that, that's the biggest recommendation i could make uh, but overall not many people wearing masks i think that seems to be a bit of a forgotten thing now last time i was here they were really enforcing it this time don't seem to be enforcing it at all so uh, it makes it a little bit more comfortable i've got to say going down a ride with a wet mask is not comfortable uh, but it seems to be uh, really loosened up now so let's see who wins this race drop your comments uh, if you are enjoying the vlog as well make sure you subscribe got loads of videos on the channel from tenerife uh, so make sure you do hit the thumbs up subscribe as well lots more to come yet let's see who's going to win this little race between uh, laura and scott so we've got uh scott in the second lane from the right and laura in the third lane right down the middle so we'll see scott's in blue we should be able to see here we go scott's winning Scott's winning, Scott's won by a mile. Scott has won by a mile. <laughs> Very disappointing from Laura there. Scott by a mile. <laughs> there you go. Scott, you won by a mile there. By a mile. Very disappointing, Laura. Commiserations. <laughs> Enjoy it. Good. Yeah, it's good that was. There's a good blast down there. Good blast. <laughs> So we're now on the way up to Kinnery. It's uh, me, Scott and Laura. This is one of the big ones, love this one. This one opened at 10, 
<laughs> we've opened, noticed Singer next door is until half one. So uh, still some of them aren't open yet. We'll get the ones done that are open, have some lunch, some of my favorite pizza and yeah. nuggets. We noticed a little sweet stand is open today as well. Could be a little treat going. Could be a treat on the way. But this one, it's a big one this, do enjoy this. This will uh, definitely wake me up. good fun so that was Kinnery and I love that ride so much fun that's got to be one of the best one of the best definitely the biggest yeah that second dip that second bowl is just like that's yeah, really good you yeah. fly through it especially if you got well you have to have four in the ring but if you've got someone heavy in there as well you fly it is a uh, fast yeah like me <laughs> uh, we're just waiting for Scott to come down and then we're probably gonna head back to the wave pool beach and have a bite to eat I am starving I need a coffee as well and then uh, we'll wait for all these other rides to open at half past one. So just something to bear in mind, if you're coming in the off season, uh, bear in mind that only half the park is open in the morning, and then it seems the other half is open in the afternoon. So uh, bear that in mind, plan your day around it. But uh, definitely 100% get here for when it opens. You will save so much time, get so much done in that first hour, and get your choice of whatever you want. I'm, I'm excited for some food. I love the pizza in here. And I love the nuggets as well. Oh yeah. Just waiting for Scott to come down. You have got to have four on this ride. So he's waiting for th a three to go up. Uh, he did kindly offer to wait. So but, uh, hang on for him. And then we'll be uh, on the move again. Here he is. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. I'm Didn't wait too long either. Did you have Scousers as well? So. There you go. Come on. We're everywhere. Yeah. We're I everywhere. We're everywhere. for 1.30 for the next ride. <laughs> awesome. So just on this walkway, you do get a little peek through to see what they're doing to the uh, Lazy River. And it looks like they are painting it like a dark green around the edges, as you can see there. Can't see quite through the trees. Looks nice though. Different, Laura. I didn't know it, was, it wasn't, I thought it was always green. No, but... it was the rocks are grey. Mm. But right. they're painting them black and then they're putting a nice green over them. Yeah, I see a nice green there. Yeah, there. Looks nice. Smells very strong. <laughs> you could uh, easily get high off the fumes there. <laughs> And we go right out at the uh, Wave Pool Beach. Gonna meet up with the gang now and uh, get a nice bite to eat, I think. So we're uh, just uh, got dressed, dried off a little bit, and uh, we're gonna head and get some lunch now. Laura's brought a gluten free sandwich with her. They don't do that much gluten free options in the food hall. There's a few options you've got the main food hall here, hall here which does like your chicken, chicken nuggets, pizzas, and things, or there's like a cafe style baguette shop. Um, in the, in the middle, sort of near the other lockers, um, you can get like croissants and cakes and coffees in that one. So I'm not sure what we're going for yet, we're going to see. But at the moment, it's looking very busy.
Okay, so I got myself the uh, nuggets that I love and the pizza. Laura's got some chips. We are going to go back in and ask about gluten free. They didn't seem to have much. There was a new cubby there though, wasn't there? Yeah, I thought they got their signs on anything or anything like that. No, so. no allergy menus, no allergy signs. That's uh, the only thing that lets it down in there in the canteen. For now though, if you guys have peanut butter on there, is it? Yeah. Peanut butter sandwich. So, lunch was very nice. We're going to do a quick live on uh, YouTube now. A quick little live stream. And uh, then we're going to head around. Laura's going to get a uh, milkshake from next door. Look very nice. And then I'm going to stop for a coffee and a muffin, I think, at the one uh, further around by the lockers and bring back some sandwiches for the others. So we'll uh, catch you very shortly, when I'm, uh, probably when I'm having a coffee or something like that. So we've just enjoyed a little bit of a live stream here. Uh, at Science Park, we did stop for a little bit of a coffee and a muffin. I'll put that link in the description if you want to watch the live stream that we did. Uh, during that live stream, I did uh, find out a little bit of information for you guys that it is important for you. They've literally done this today while we were here. They were changing out the signs, and that is that the mask rules have changed here in the park. Uh, I'm going to find the sign and show you exactly what the new rules are that have changed as of today. Um, in February time and uh, they've been changing out the signs I wonder what they were doing and uh, I'm going to show you those new signs now so these are the new rules and it has changed they now recommend that you wear a face mask uh, if you can't respect the 1.5 safety distance. So it's gone from mandatory wearing a mask to only recommended now. And that is if you cannot maintain the distance. You do have to wear a mask inside. So in the shops, the cafeteria, etc. You have to wear a mask. But on the slides, uh, in the wave pool, out on the beach, walking around, it is now recommended rather than mandatory and it's only recommended if you cannot maintain the safety distance so some good news there um, in terms of that change it makes it a lot easier uh, if you're worried about wearing masks etc far far easier now just to mention some of the other questions that I had on the live stream where um, do they still do the ticket where you can come back another day and they do it is 19 euros if you come in and you enjoy your day and you want to come back again if you buy the ticket while you're here in the park, uh, you can get another day for just 19 euros, uh, which is really, really good. They do still do the annual pass as well if you're a resident. I think they are around 70 euros for a year uh, for the annual pass. Uh, someone was always at, oh, we're also asking, uh, are the buses running again, the free buses? And they are um, from Adeki, Los Cristianos. There's another route as well. So the free buses are running. And that was mainly the sort of questions that jumped out at me that I wanted to remind you of, um, just so you know it. Uh, those buses are running and you can still buy that second day pass. It is worth that if you do have uh, a good day the first time, there's Laura there, um, you can buy another day discounted. But you've got to buy the ticket before you leave the park. Um, so bear that in mind. And uh, if anything else crops up that I think that you should know about, I will of course let you know. So a few changes here. Uh, since I've been, but uh, positive changes in some ways. It's nearly wave o'clock, I'm gonna cream up, change out of the merch, and uh, get myself in. Next time I come though, I'm definitely gonna have that uh, Night Strider rash vest on. There is now a rash vest in the store. We, uh, we came in today, and that's one thing I haven't got in the new merch store, rash vest. There's one on it already, sorted. Someone suggested bucket and spades as well, I don't know how far we're gonna go. But yeah, rash vest's on there, good for the sun. I'm going to uh, put my uh, t-shirt on for now and uh, get in the waves. Here he comes. Mick Garvey, the only thing you can do in the park, the wave pool. It's freezing. It's not. It's freezing. With a body like that, you won't feel anything. <laughs> Six pack. Garvey Craig. <laughs> Come on. In you get. Come on, I want to see a proper 
Oh, no. Daniel Craig running in. <laughs> oh, hey. He's even got his little socks on. <laughs> oh well, you know. Come on. In you guess. You had me walking all around those steps up to those rides. And yeah. My feet are killing me. Yeah, I would recommend. I always recommend some of those little sea water shoes. You promised to buy me a pair. Yeah, but you've walked there and back once. That's it. You've not done anything else but nah. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get in. You're struggling, are you? Yeah, that's going to be on the way now. <laughs> are you ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> okay, we're all in. Dad's saying it's still freezing. It's not that cold. Oh, what? It's just a really good section, you sort of, you fly over the waves in this bit. You go over the top of them easy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look how nervous you are. I just have to say, here we go. And you <laughs> it's when you hear them. <laughs> this bit, you just fly right over them. <laughs> yeah, he just bob straight over the top, probably. We're in a calm section now. Nice and calm in this bit. How often do they go? Boom. I think every minute. Every minute. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, 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 here we go. Ready? No, I'm gonna float. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> you gotta get off! <laughs> Come on, up you get! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> There's gonna be another one in a minute. <laughs> Do you like that?
So we're just on the way to the races. Someone was asking on the live earlier about the smoking area and that is just through here. If you are a smoker, there is a smoking section here uh, where you can smoke and you can also have a drink in the Thai bar. Uh, you've got all kinds of different slushies and coffees, uh, even bottles of champagne. Uh, beer on draft, baguettes, and this area is all just for smoking. You've got everything here, ice creams, all going on, and this is all a big smoking section. So if you are still a smoker, going out of fashion these days, uh, but if you're still a smoker, you can come up into this section here, and uh, also have a drink and a bite to eat and things as well. Quite, quite, a, quite a nice little area actually, uh, up there. But I'm going to catch up to them on the races. Dad is going on as well, so we're going to see who wins that. Okay, here we go. I can see Scott, Laura and Dad right in the middle there, getting off. There he is in his dark blue shirt, struggling to lie down on the mat. Scott's showing him what to do. <laughs> so keep an eye on the... Uh, it's the third lane in is going to be uh, Mick Garvey in the middle of Scott and Laura and he's still stuck at the top <laughs> dad's still on the top scott's all the way down already scott's finished <laughs> and dad is still at the top he's still at the top still at the top and he's getting off is he coming down is he staying up what's he doing <laughs> I think he's coming down, he's gonna go, he's gonna go, here we go, he's gonna be pushed. <laughs> the lifeguard had to push him off, and here he comes, Mick Garvey. <laughs> he had to be pushed off by the lifeguard, and he's got to be picked up by the lifeguard and all. Hey, you're well won there, Scott, you flew down. Scott's got a technique here that you actually. I'll tell you. All right, are you going to tell him, Scott? I was going to show you. Okay, go on. If you get down, you can lift it up. There's less in the water. Yeah. There's less friction, so you go quicker. So lift it up slightly at the front. Up, yeah. You, you go down. Right. Okay. There's a little tip from Scott there. Here he is, oh, Mick. Too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> too heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy. Why? Is that what he said to you? Get, get up. And he repositioned me. So that my head was right forward. I saw you had to be pushed off. Yeah. <laughs> well, you officially lost anyway. You came last. <laughs> there were three people that were queuing up first that came before you. Did you enjoy it? It's just weird. Weird. <laughs> oh, God. I wasn't happy when he said you're going anyway. <laughs> he said, when he said get up, I thought, oh, he's going to send me down. Then he goes, no, now lie this way. <laughs> and then out holds my feet and he pushes me. <laughs> oh, it was a good sight of you coming down. On my own. Right, we're going to see about maybe dragging our volcano now. We'll see what happens. Getting busy in here. Oh, here we go. Hold on, quietly. Hey, Ready? Whoa! 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 So we've dragged Dad back up to do the Mekong Rapids this time. Excited, Dad? No. It's going to be me, you, and Laura on a three. Three. Yeah. Nervous? Can I not go backwards this time? I think it goes by weight, so you're probably going to pull us backwards no matter how he pushes us down. I hate not seeing where you're going. It's scary, and then you have the drops. Then you go up the sides. <laughs> Here we go. Bring it on though, you know. Bring it on. 
Okay, you ready then, Dad? No. You're going backwards. Here's your ring. No, no. Here we go. No. I'm going to watch you gracefully get in now. <laughs> I don't do anything graceful. Anything at all. Oh, I take a 2,000 point There you go. Here's your ring. In you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in. <laughs> that way, yeah. Okay. Okay, like. Okay, you Move just a little. Move your legs. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, it's not filming, is it? Yeah. I'm going backwards again. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Turn it. <laughs> no. Oh, no, he's backwards. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you enjoy that oh, one? Oh no. No. Oh, you stitched me up again. You said it was going to be fine. <laughs> it was worse. No. Worse than when there was four of us. <laughs> oh, God. So that is uh, pretty much all done for today. We did a few more rides. Knackered now. You do so much more walking than you think. Uh, the one side criticism and the one thing we did notice with having the baby was that there isn't enough shade especially if it's a windy day like this and you can't use the umbrellas there's not in really enough shade around um, that was our only criticism really there is no shade at all on the beach and we're not allowed to have the umbrellas up with the wind so that could be an obstacle if you are coming with young children or you want to stay shaded basically impossible to be on this beach in shade uh, today if you can't use the umbrellas you're knackered for shade uh, but we're going to catch up with you further on but uh, we're going to start packing up now, getting everything together and uh, heading on out. It's about three o'clock, is it, Laura? Half three. Uh, I think the park closes at five or six, so heading off a few hours early, but I'd like to get back and showered and everything. But uh, yeah, we will catch up with you um, a little bit later on. Okay, so that concludes our day here at Cyan Park. Very good day. Learned a few things, especially if it's out of season. Also, the little rule change with the masks. Um, any other key points of today? Yeah, I've realised I, I really am 62. <laughs> yeah, he only managed yeah. two rides. He's got to get himself sorted before Florida. Three and the wave Three pool. Three rides and the wave pool, but still, got to sort yeah, yourself well, you out. Yeah, you stitched me up. You put me on the worst ones. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> Did not. Did the uh, really was, really was good fun. Um, highly recommend coming. Easy tickets online. Um, getting in was easy. Definitely get here when it opens. Overall, very, very good fun. Even in the winter, it's been boiling today, hasn't it? Yeah. It's chilly if you're in between slides. Yeah. You know. Not too bad. They recommend the water shoes as well. Plenty of sun cream. As I, as I said, the only criticism was the lack of shade today. The minute it was windy and no umbrellas no shade anywhere um, and they were also very strict with the seating that was in the shade in the canteen loads of it was reserved and she was kicking everyone out uh, making people sit in the sun so shade was a bit of an issue today yeah. Yeah. Uh, but overall absolutely fantastic if you did enjoy it hit the thumbs up drop your comments as well did you find out anything interesting and um, that you didn't know also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button it's completely free and uh, check out nightstrider.com loads of merch on there including this Laura's top there as well, the towels and even rash vests for uh, Cyan Park now as well. The Garvey stuff really nice. <laughs> it is, it is nice stuff. Thank you very much for watching guys, stride on and uh, see you soon. Bye guys. Bye guys. I, I hold on to this storm cause I need
Left again. 